There's a man at the window. OK, I think he's painting. Always trying to get my attention by waving. This can only mean one thing. That the scaffolding is coming down and the building work is complete. a bit more. Yum, 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 yum. Mm, it's a bit tricky with one hand. Yeah, we are. Nope. Mm. Yummy. Uh, bup, bup, bup. Do you mean the, oh, this hummus? Oh, yummy. Hummus gonna work with a sort of Indian? Yes. Yes, you say? I just had it, it's great. Oh, good. I mean, I'll eat it with anything, to be honest. Oh! The edit is done. The day can begin. Yeah! Begin? It's Five o'clock. I know, but like the real fun can begin. It's five o'clock, mate. I'm about to go to spinning in an hour. Exactly. And I'm about to go on the Xbox in an hour. No, you're not. I'm going to spinning for the first time because Alex. Have you not been before? No, it's all Alex's fault. We were supposed to go on a bike ride this morning and vlog it for you and have a really fun cycling vlog, but Alex decided that he would leave his stuff for his bike in the car so yeah. he couldn't clean it. And... I made up this killer excuse that I'd left the stuff in the car so I didn't have to go cycling today. Well, he said he needed to lube the chain because yeah. it was the... cause making a noise, right? The last few times I've cycled on the bike, I think because I haven't cleaned it in so long, it might be similar on yours. I've been using it more than you have. It feels like it's clicking. It feels like, oh, the chain and oh, everything is just the metals rubbing on the metal. So I've got to clean it and lube it. But I'll take you along to spinning. I don't think I'm going to film the actual spinning part, but I'll, no. I'll, I'll take the camera on the way there and stuff. Show me the gym. Yeah, show you the gym and stuff, because I haven't done that yet. Uh, also, I want to say sorry if our vlogs are kind of like every day sitting in the house doing nothing at the minute. It's because this month, I don't know if we mentioned it yesterday, but we were really working on figuring out a routine. And I'm... In the last video we mentioned it, yes. Yeah, yeah. We just... Getting into it. But the weekend, it's my birthday, so we'll have fun at the weekend. Yeah, but we won't film that because it's our weekend. No, we're filming it, no? <laughs> yes, we will. Yeah, yeah, we'll probably, I think what you should do is film both days and have that as one vlog. Smush. For Monday or something. Like a smush. Yeah. Because it's my, uh, guess how old I am. No, actually, that's not a good idea. I'll, yes, but we won't tell you. <laughs> no, because if I say that, people will be like, oh, you're 31, 32. She's not in her 40s yet. <laughs> I'm 26. I'm turning 26. Oh, you've ruined it. Well, I don't want people to guess, it's just going <laughs> to upset me because people are probably going to say I look older than I do. Yeah. I either get people telling me I look like I'm in my late 20s, I think because of my accent and my, I'm um, quite like a, I have a mature aura, I think. Mm -hmm. Do you not think? Yep. I'm quite sensible, so people think, not sensible, but... Boring, I think is the word you're looking no, for. No, people presume I'm older because I don't behave <sighs> like, you know, a young 20 year old. But I don't yeah. think I look, I think I look my age, I think when you're in your 20s, when from the age of 20 to 30, I don't really think you look that different. No. If I was to look at pictures of me when I was 20, 21, I look the same. <sighs> Apart from your hair. Yeah, but my face looks exactly the same. Oh yeah. What am I going to do when you go spinning then? Go shopping. Alex has a shopping list, so we can do a little um, back and forth vlog of what we're, what we're up to. You're in, you go in, you'll be in the shops and I'll be in the gym. So you've got well, to get I just... some stuff. For my I'm, video. I'm gonna get the car now. What time are you going spinning? Six. Hmm? It's still like over an hour till spinning. Mm -hmm. I wanna get the car and presumably while I'm at the car I can just drive yeah. to the shop. Yeah. So I'll be back. So I'll be back and unpacked by the time you Yeah, but there. I need to leave at like quarter two because I wanna get there and set up and So it's a race against time. I really hate this time of the day. Does anyone else hate this time of the day? At like five, because it's just before dinner. So you, but I get, I get hungry at this time. So I'm like, oh, I'm ready for dinner. But then you finished work and I'm often waiting for my video to export, ready for it to upload. And you kind of like saying, well, what do I do now? But I have yeah. stuff to do, but I can't do it yet. So I have, you know, spinning, I have dinner, I have computers. my video to upload. 
uh, out of service for yeah. like an hour and a half or more. Recently I've been working till like 9 or 10 at night just to get my videos up, but I'm working, as I said, we're working on a routine yeah. to figure that out. Well, some, it's not going to be Some days, permanently. some days are hectic, some days are, you're, you're done by like three. It's the sort of thing, this week's just a bit more hectic because we had to work at the weekend and on Monday and it's all yeah. been... Well, you don't have time to be editing so much at the weekend, yeah. but you need to get videos up. Yeah. But ho I'm hoping and praying by February, everything will be in a groove of things. I'll be, you know, finishing work at a reasonable time and I'll be in the swing of the amount of videos I'm doing each week. You think so? Yeah. 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 Three whole apples. Is that all? Yeah. Will that be all? Well, if there's anything we've forgotten, then, then we can just run to Tesco tomorrow, but I think we've got everything. Yeah. Literally run. Yeah, you can run. Like, okay. And you can. Your exercise. Huh. My exercise was walking to the car just now. Oh, can I oh. Can ask some questions? Oh. 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 <laughs> I need a new uh, set of gym clothes because I'm currently wearing leggings that I got in Sainsbury's or Tesco. They're really old and disgusting and they're obviously not meant for gym, for the gym. So please send us your old gym clothes. So please could people, could you let me know? So please could you let me know in the comments down below of any ethical, sustainable uh, brands that sell sportswear, preferably in the UK. I did ask this on, on Instagram and on Twitter. Most of the ones people suggested looked amazing, but they were either yoga wear, which isn't necessarily the best for the gym because it's not always sweat proof. And also a lot of them were like in Australia or in America. So if you know of any UK brands, please let me know. I'm desperate to find out. Cause I was looking on Depop and secondhand places and there's just not very much. Uh, I just want some plain, simple gym clothes from an ethical brand in the UK. Hit me up. Thanks for that interlude, Maddie. I'll see you later. See you later. Have fun at the gym. Thanks. You're supposed to say have fun at Tesco. That's better. So I'm off to the gym. It is really dark and I'm kind of late because I just posted a video and I'm struggling to walk fast because I did a killer leg workout the other day. So I need to kind of start jogging. Otherwise I'm going to be late. Eee! It's a maze in here. I don't know where it is. <laughs> Help is coming. Find your favourites or have a browse. I never really understood why people go to the self service checkout in the supermarket with a huge trolley full of stuff. So it takes them like 15 minutes to go through self-checkout. And then they just dump their trolley on the other side so it blocks everyone else coming out. It's the sort of thing Maddie would do. And I find it really annoying. Anyway, six o'clock now. Maddie will have just started spinning. So I was just checking the time. Which means I can either, I know we're having leftovers tonight, so I don't even have to really cook. I just have to sit back and play some Star Wars while my video exports. There we go. There's the bits I need. Yeah. All right, I got back home. That's what you get for boasting. I completely forgot I'd have to go back and park the car again. So I'll be back in 15. So I come back and Alex has definitely been. And he has just left a trail. The bike stuff there. And then in the kitchen, he's left the shopping here and here. It's just really funny because he's like left it all out. I'm gonna put this in the microwave because I'm having leftovers for dinner. And then I'm gonna jump in the shower whilst it's in the microwave because I am sweaty. <laughs> What are you doing? <laughs> I knew you were here. I could, I could sense that you were here. I was thinking, what the hell? Alex. <laughs> you got two angles of that. No. <laughs> were you hiding behind the door? No, I was just in the bedroom. I knew you were here because I could just sense. You know you just sense the presence of somebody else? Nope. 
we, well, yeah, some guys, you know what I mean? You can just sense somebody's there. And I was thinking, this, he's definitely here. Well, I, I could just feel that you were here. How was spinning? It was good. Good. Tiring. Tiring. It was a good group of people. Not too many. Not too few. Not My too arm, many. I can't hold this up. My arm aches too much. Maddie. I sat down and I forgot to put the heating on. Was it? Can you please do it? Thanks, honey boo boo. I'm having the same thing I had for lunch for dinner. Yay! 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 <laughs> but the positive is that we have lots of yogurt in the fridge to go with our multiple brownies remaining. So it's not all bad. You know what? It might just be time for a haircut. Anyway, I'm here with the bikes. I'm going to try to attempt to clean the chain and get it working a bit better. I don't really have the tools. I don't have any kind of brushes and I really ought to be doing this outside because it can make a bit of a mess, but I'm only doing just a little bit. I won't be using much water or anything just to uh, give it a light freshening up and then to lube it. So what we have here are the muck off range. I like them because basically just the whole range is eco-friendly and not tested on animals, which is sometimes quite hard to come by when it comes to things like cleaning bikes, cars, and that kind of machinery and parts like that. So I got these in Aldi because they were like dirt cheap, they're on offer. That one cleans the bike, just generally all the, you know, like this gunk, which I can't get to today, sadly. This is the chain and gear degree, so that's probably the one I use the most. Um, I don't use this much, this is a bit, it's a bit like WD-40, but not quite. It kind of drives the water out of places where it shouldn't be. And then this is the lube. Out of me, out of me, that's nice. The oil that you put on afterwards. I've got the wet one because it is rainy and dirty. I've got a different, I've got a dry one for the summer that I took to Thailand. Here is my pot. You can tell this is going to end badly, can't you? I can already hear you typing your comments and yelling at home <laughs> about the mess I'm gonna make. All I basically want to do is just clean this up as best I can. As you can see, it's like, if it would focus, it's black when it should be silver, as you can just see under there. Um, and just lube it up so it runs smoothly and it's not wearing it down. And I might try and give Maddie's a quick going over as well, assuming this goes well, which it very well may not. You hear that clicking? You shouldn't be doing that. Okay, so as I suspected, I am a fool. That did not work at all. I have no stand, I have no running water, I have no towels, I have no anything, and it's just a mess and I can't do it like this, so I'm gonna try and take it outside and do it, even though it's night. Five minutes later. And here we are. You really can't tell, it's really not that much cleaner, but I've got a lot of the, the main gunk out. You see the mess on the floor. Definitely a good thing I came out here. I forgot, once you put the degreaser on, you have to wash it all out properly, you can't just wipe it off. Just pop some lube on, rung by rung. There we are, just like new. I can't say for sure, but I put the degreaser on, I spun it around, gave it a rub. I think it's gonna need a serious clean very, very soon, but for now, I think that'll do. I spun it around outside and the noise, the clicking noise had actually gone, no matter which gear I selected. So it worked in the end. I think my favorite part was when I went outside to go into our little back area to grab the bike stand, none of the keys I had worked and I can't seem to find the key at all. So I just had to do it on the floor outside the front of the flat with people, random people walking past in the middle of the night, walking their dogs and staring at me. I hereby award this video the title of worst bike cleaning tutorial on YouTube. To be fair, I wasn't actually trying to tell anyone how to clean their bike. I just thought it would be fun to see me trying to do it. That's the remnants of the bowl. So some cleaning did happen. I might have to put some boiling water in that. That's pretty gross. All right. I think I'll call it a night here. That was unnecessarily tiring given the uh, poor return I got out of it. Please excuse the state of my bike. Now I've done that, I can go on a bike ride. I think because we didn't go on one today and Maddie went spinning, she probably won't be joining me, but I will go and find a new route, I think. I was talking to someone over Christmas who lived in Brighton and they said when I went up to Devil's Dyke in that video about a month ago, because I didn't really encounter any like big hills, I must've gone the wrong way, like the really easy way as I suspected, so I'm gonna try and find the harder way. <laughs> because I did only cycle like 30K, so I would like to find a, a different route. I think that'd be fun. 
So I hope you join me for that. It probably won't be the whole the whole video, probably won't be cycling. I'd say 50% of it will be cycling at least. Yeah, it depends how exciting the bike ride is, depends how far I go. Boy, I really do need a haircut. Maybe I'll get one before Maddie's birthday in the next few days. Anyway, I will see you tomorrow. I'll catch you on the flippity flip. Mm -hmm.